Hello, welcome to another Research Methods for the Biosciences screencast for Microsoft Excel. This screencast covers Section 10.6, Introduction to Parametric ANOVA, including Section 10.7, One-Way Parametric ANOVA with Equal Numbers of Replicates, Section 10.8, Tukey's Test, and Section 10.9, One-Way Parametric ANOVA with Unequal Replicates. This test asks if three or more independent data samples can be considered to be from a common statistical population. A significant result indicates that this is unlikely and that there are significant differences between two or more of the samples. For example, Table 10.7 gives the fresh weight of the Lobelia variety HANA grown in one of four types of compost eight weeks post-weaning from a tissue culture environment. The question is whether any of the compost promotes superior growth of the plants. There are two common parametric one-way ANOVA tests implemented by programs and which one you will use depends on whether the variances are similar or not. We can test if the variances are similar, also termed homogeneous, by doing an F-test first on the data using the program. See Chapter 10 in the book and Box 10.7 for further details. One of the main reasons why your data may not have homogeneous variances is if you have unequal replicates. That is, unlike the data in Table 10.7, your samples have different number of data points. In general, when using these programs, do not worry about whether your replicates are equal or not. Focus instead on using the correct test for whether the variances are similar or different, as the program will use the correct statistical test for unequal sample sizes if required. If you get a significant result from the ANOVA, you may then wish to work out which samples are significantly different from each other. We cannot simply do a t-test for each sample pair combination, as this increases the likelihood of type 1 errors. Instead, there are many other tests, collectively called post hoc tests, that can be carried out. In many cases, we prefer to use a test called the Tukey's test, although other tests, such as the Games Hull test, will be suggested in the screencast if required. So let's do the test. I've already entered the data from Table 10.7 into Microsoft Excel. Unfortunately, the Excel data pack does not contain a test to check for the homogeneity of the variances. You will either need to refer to the book to do this by hand, or the web walkthrough to do the calculation in Excel. However, the data pack function does take into account uneven sample sizes. Also, the data pack does not perform post hoc tests. To do the test, track up to data and click, along to data analysis and click, and a window opens. Another single factor is top of the list, so select it if it isn't selected and press OK. First, I need to tell Excel where to find my data. As you can see, my data is arranged in rows according to the compost type used. I do this by pressing the little selection button, which contains a red arrow pointed in the top left hand corner, and a selection window appears. I'm going to select all my data, including the labels. Go back up to the selection window and press the selection button, which is blue with a little downward facing red arrow. As you can see, my input range has now been added into the input box. I'm now going to tick the labels in the first row button. I now need to tell Excel where to put the data. I wish to put the data on this worksheet, so I'm going to click the Output Range radio button. To select the top left hand corner of where the data is going to be presented, I'm going to press this selection button with the little arrow facing to the top left. It gives me a selection window. I'm going to select the cell where I wish the results to start and go back and press the selection button with the downward facing red arrow. I can now press OK. As we can see, Excel has given us a p-value of 0.002535. So what is the meaning of the p-value? A p-value of 1 means we can accept the null hypothesis as true, whereas a p-value of 0 means we can accept the null hypothesis as untrue. As we travel from a p-value of 1 to 0, the transition point between true and untrue is set at 0.05 in the biological sciences. The smaller the p-value below 0.05, the more confident we can be in rejecting the null hypothesis. A probability of about 0.0025 is below our 0.5 transition probability, and we can say there is a significant difference between our compost and can reject the null hypothesis. In fact, the difference is below 0.01, so we could conclude that there is a highly significant difference between the mean fresh weight of the Libelia variety HANA when weaned on four different composts. Unfortunately, we cannot specifically state which composts have outperformed which other. For this we would need to do a post hoc test. Please see the book for further details. I hope you found this screencast helpful. For further information on how to use this test, or the theory behind it, 
then please consult the book. More information on how to use the program to perform the test can be found in our online web guides located in the Resource Centre. Thank you for listening.